All right, everyone, this is a 1971 International Scout Comanche 800B. So, very rare vehicle. Supposedly less than 3,000 of these were built and produced. I've heard even stories that less than that, but uh, it's a very cool vintage piece of uh, automotive history. Vehicle starts right up, no problem. Nice three-speed manual transmission engages very smoothly. Uh, no grinding, uh, obviously not a non-signal vehicle, but uh, goes into gear nicely, drives very well. We checked all the lights, all of those are working, blinkers are working, gauges are all working, which is nice. Fuel gauge is working properly. Temperature gauge is up to a little, a little less than half. And, um, oil pressure seems to be working just fine. Uh, voltage meter as well as working. Speedometer is working. Uh, there is a daily, or excuse me, a uh, log book that goes with this vehicle that has record of oil changes, gas fill ups, and some service. And we are pretty darn certain that the 9,343 miles is inaccurate, but it is 109,343 miles. The odometer is spinning nicely and works. So. Uh, there's no hesitation in my opinion that 109,000 miles is the accurate mileage, but uh, and the proof of documentation. Uh, further, vehicle drives straight down the road. No problems there. We're going at about 45, 50 miles an hour. Uh, we'll get it up to about 60, 65, no problem. Right now, 55. wiper does work intermittently uh, so that will need a little bit of attention not a big deal um, the choke works properly on the vehicle it's hooked up nicely um, the radio does not work um, but other than that the air conditioning does work which is quite crazy when you turn this old system on it's not going to freeze you out of the truck but it is cool temperature air that is coming out of there much colder than what it is outside today oh, in the third gear we are another cool thing is the cigarette lighter works still nice leather wrap steering wheel here we are up to 60 miles an hour 65 miles an hour get close to 70 back it down a little bit, don't need to do any further speed tests on this bad boy. Um, driver and passenger seat are in very nice condition. Someone definitely reupholstered those in the recent uh, history. Uh, it does have the original vinyl floor still intact, which is nice. Um, Four-wheel drive system does work properly as well. Uh, in the back, the back seat is secured and in great shape. Drum brakes work darn good. Um, clutch engages properly as well. Had a couple questions about what this lever is over on the left of the dash. And the research that we've done is that it's a some sort of trailer brake controller. Um, obviously have not tested that out, but it is it's, uh, it does move and it is adjustable when you do put your foot on the brake. That lever does adjust as well. What I get today is about a 85, 90 degree Michigan humid day and the AC is blowing nice and cold out of here. Uh, again, it's not going to freeze you out, but it's very comfortable inside this cabin with a perky property. Uh, what else can I tell you about it? Obviously, the headliner needs a little TLC, but it does appear to be original setup. Uh, visors are in place and do function properly. Dash cap is in really, really nice shape. Uh, one little mark over here on the passenger side, but not the end of the world by any means. Uh, and, the, and the truck just drives fantastic. Obviously, it gets plenty of looks wherever you go. Uh, goes into reverse properly. Um, like I said, all the major components are working nicely. So, you know, for someone that's looking for something unique, something different, and something that no one else is going to have at their cars and coffee or car shows, in the summertime, 
you're definitely getting notice in this dimension. All right, so like I said, the radio is not working, which is unfortunate, but again, it seems to be functioning. Button slides, tuner works, just no volume. So I don't know if that's a fuse, a speaker, or some wiring. One other little feature right here is the map light. Still works, obviously. A little archaic, but again, something that's cool about this thing is so many other features of this truck still function like it was new. Uh, rear view mirrors in place as well. One thing I forgot. Uh, the uh, side vent windows do work, I know that. Windows roll down properly. If this uh, is an accident, yep, smoker windows work great. Oh. And like I said, the wiper driver side does work. Passenger side is in on. So again, some good little uh, project for you to have when you buy this thing. So you gotta always have something to do when you buy a new vehicle. Again, best of luck, happy bidding, and feel free to ask us any questions you may have. We'll do our best to get an answer to you as quick as possible. Have a great weekend, everyone.